Welcome to the 30 days of Photoshop retouching where every day we take one photo and transform it using real professional techniques from blemish removal and skin smoothing to advanced frequency separation. You will learn step by step how to retouch like a pro, no fluff, no filters, just results. Whether you are a beginner or brushing up your skills, this challenge is your path to Photoshop mastery. Grab your stylus, open Photoshop and let's retouch today. My name is Akwadidia by the way and welcome to my channel. This is day 21 of our challenge and we have this beautiful picture over here that i downloaded online i have the link to the download in the description box you can check it out all right so first and foremost as you can see right here is this dent on her head that i don't really like so we're gonna quickly gonna go ahead and then correct it let me zoom in like this so i'm gonna press and hold ctrl j to make a duplicate of the background layer then i'm gonna come here to filter like this, then I'm gonna select liquify. All right, on liquify, we're gonna use this tool over here to fix it. So with this tool over here, that's the forward wrap tool. Then we're gonna come back to the head like this. And then we're just gonna drag to just fix it. So I'm just gonna round it up to make it look much better. I'm gonna to come to this side as well. Just gonna keep rounding it up like that. Let's check the before and after. So this is before and this is the after. This is the before and the after. I think it's looking much better. So I'm gonna come here to OK like this. All right. Let me zoom out once more. So this is how it's looking. So to fit the screen, you just press Control and Zero to fit the screen. Yeah, that's basically how you do it. Then. I'm gonna make another duplicate of the background layer. That's layer one. Control J to make another duplicate. So we're gonna to come to layer one over here. Apparently we are, we are trying to um, create the frequency the frequency adjustment, the frequency separation adjustment layer. So we're gonna double click on layer one and change this to color. And then layer one copy, we change this to texture. Like this and select OK. Then we're gonna hide the texture layer like this. Then we select the color layer. Then we're gonna come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then we're gonna keep or change the radius to five. As you can see, so you move um, or change the radius to um, a value where you don't see so much details in the image as you can see over here there's not more details you can see more details over here so you're just gonna select okay like this then you're gonna come to the texture layer select it make it visible then you're gonna come to image apply image then you're gonna keep the source at 21 that is the name of the file then you're gonna change this to color that is the color layer then you're going to change this to subtract change the scale to 2 and then the offset at 128 then you select ok as you can see our image is looking gray right we are not done yet so you're going to come to this side that's the blend mode then you change this to linear light like this as you can see our image is back to how it was before so you're just gonna put this in a group by pressing and holding control and then selecting the color layer and then control G to put it in a group as you can see over here. So I'm gonna rename this to FS, meaning frequency separation. All right, so if you want this action played for you, I have it over here in my actions panel. So you can just download it. I have it in my data store. You can check out the link in the description box and then download it and then use it for your um, your edits all right so we select the color layer now and then we're going to zoom into our image with the color layer selected and then we're going to use the mixer brush tool to do this so we're going to select the mixer brush tool over here like this and then we're going to use this settings for the mixer brush tool as you can see over here you always keep this to soft round brush then this is the folder where 
um, the brushes are at. So you're gonna change this or keep this at clean brush. This is the settings that a lot of people face that um, they, normally if you don't get this right, you're gonna paint and then you're gonna have the image, you're gonna have some um, colors ha coming on your image, which shouldn't be so. So make sure this is unchecked. Make sure this is selected, this is checked. And then you keep this at custom. Then I'm using apparently depending on the image you're working on and then the effect you're getting from your wetness, you're gonna change this, right? So apparently it's on hundred percent, and then the load is on um forty-eight percent, and then the mix is at fifty-seven percent, and then the flow at thirty percent, and then this is the pressure, right? The smoothing set smoothing um for stroke is at ten percent. All right, so mind you, make sure this settings are done, especially this side. So share this side all right so let's just proceed to now start doing our frequency pushing smoothing the face all right so i'm using my stylus to do this okay so i'm gonna start brushing her face like that always make sure you take your time when you're doing this i'm just gonna brush like that All right, so as you notice, the um, the wetness is too much. It's also set to 100, so I'm just going to reduce it. So I just changed it to 55%. I'm just going to continue and then keep brushing like that. So I'm just going to... Take my time and then just brush. Just soften the skin. Yeah, one mistake that a lot of people do when they are doing the stages, they normally um, extend the tones to other regions or other areas in the in the image, which shouldn't be so. So always make sure when you are brushing um, in the highlights, you are brushing only in the highlights. When you are brushing the mid-tones, you are brushing only in the mid-tones. All right, so as you can see why, you just take your time and then you brush like that. I'm gonna come to this side. And brush. And mind you, you always have to keep your layer at the color layer. keep the color layer selected that's what you are doing this um this editing on so always keep that in mind i'm just gonna proceed to this side all right so at this point i'm just gonna speed this side up yeah so once again if you like the action that um, I, I just created or i just played as the for the frequency separation you can just check out the link is in the description box below you can just check it out and then download it and if you love the my videos kindly like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet you can join my community as well i have it um uh, on whatsapp i have a whatsapp group that you can join you can join it the link is in the description box kindly follow me on instagram as well and then on my tiktok and yeah if you want to support the channel too, you can support me. I have a link to that in the description box below. That is um, show your love link is in the description box below. So you can support me over there. Right, let me zoom out and in to check how the image is looking. This is the before and then this is the after. As you can see, our image is looking fine. We are not done yet, but the image is looking nice. So I move to the her shoulders and I'm just gonna brush over there as well like this. Just take your time and then just brush to make it look nice. Always make sure to adjust the size depending on what you're doing. If the area is a very big portion, you're just gonna increase um, the brush size and if it's small you're just gonna decrease the brush size this gives you a much smoother effect compared to when um, the, the portion is big and then you are using a small um, brush
you don't get it looking consistent yeah that's one thing that i found so you just increase it when the area is big and then you decrease it when the area is small then move to the hands as well it's gonna brush so you press and hold the space bar and then you drag your image around to where you want to position it yeah so i'm gonna come to her left shoulder as well just gonna brush Control zero to fix the screen let's check the before and after this is the before and this is the after let me zoom in this is the before and then this is the after as you can see my image is looking very nice so let's come here and then fix this um, net on her frontal so i'm using i'm using this the spot healing brush to, to do this right now so just gonna select it and then just brush like that and automatically it's gonna remove it for you all right so back to the color layer i'm gonna use the mixer brush to to smoothen it up and then just blend it in Let's blend the side in as well. Control zero to zoom out. As you can see, my image is looking nice. So I'm gonna come here to the side, to the hair, and I'm gonna smoothen it up a little bit. I'm just gonna come like that, just smoothen it up. On the color layer though, Make sure the color layer is selected when you're doing this. Our image is looking very, very nice. Let's quickly check the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. Let me zoom in so that I can see it much better. This is the before and then this is the after. Our image is looking very, very nice. Let me quickly fix the side too. So with the color layer still selected, I'm just gonna brush like that to smoothen it. Control zero to zoom out. Come to the side as well. Yeah, so this is basically what we're getting today for our retouching. So if you want to remove some of the textures on the face, you're just going to select the texture layer and then we're going to use the spot healing brush tool again to remove. So you just select it and then we're just going to brush like that to remove anything. Make sure the texture layer is selected and you're just going to brush to remove any unwanted stuff from the image. So control zero to zoom out once more. So this is what we're having today. So from here you can proceed and then just whiten the eyes and then you can add your color gradient to it to make the image look more nicer. So this is just it for our retouching today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.